your trip. It's good. good. Jet's so excited. You're home. Mm. Oh my god, my new best friend's back too. I so awesome. I got wish I did. <laughs> At least the security guy was cool about it. Right? Yeah. Quick, there's a fire hydrant just for him. Ah, <laughs> my ass. It's a pet friendly airport. <laughs> Don't push it off. <laughs> what happened? Well, we went to the pool at the hotel. Okay. And, and Will decided to throw the lifeguarding ring at me as a joke. Save your life. Okay. It's, it's, it's like Are a you drowning pool. in the pool? <laughs> no, it, it's a five foot deep pool. I can just stand up. <laughs> but he okay. thought it would be funny to throw the lifeguarding ring, not realizing that it's not soft. Yeah, I thought it was like this squishy little ring. <laughs> and he totally like cracked me like right up here in the side of the head with it. And I was so pissed. <laughs> Oh, he was pissed. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. Well, the entire time he's going over to grab it, I'm trying to get him to put it back. <laughs> they, have, they have a security camera in the pool area. Which I didn't realize. And I'm like, dude, don't get us kicked out of the pool. I'd like to be able to use the pool. Yeah. Yeah, and then he just decided to throw it at my head. <laughs> It was supposed to go over your hand, like land, like. I had a feeling you, you get close. <laughs> you get close. Yep. I'm pretty sure the way you're supposed to use that is you throw it in front of the person and, and then, then it like it like it. skates towards them. Uh -huh. I don't think you're supposed to. Like, it's not not ring toss at the, at the <laughs> fair. I do things in unconventional ways. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds like it was so funny. It was. You in, didn't, in tell, in, you didn't tell time, me this story. In retrospect, it's funny. At the time, it was not funny. Yeah. <laughs> Seatbelt into this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are you stuck? What happened, bud? Dad broke up my what button. Happened? He broke up my button, and now I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, where uh, do I go? Straight, and then left. Okay. Like this left or another left? This left where the blue car just was. We're trying to find our way out of Will's ridiculous neighborhood. I'm gonna do that later. Oh, okay. I feel like the floor is really gonna change it. Mm -hmm. and it all returns to. Now you're actually home, you can see what the. Still like the one on the right? Yeah! Give me five. I like five. it even before you said that you were trying to convince me that I should like it. I didn't even say that. You had already said I'm the one on the right. In the video, though, you're like, maybe we can talk about Oh, uh, you already said you already like it. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like the, the black and white. Contrast versus the brown. Black and orange dish. Well, it looks like it is uh, ever so slightly taller than the door, so I don't think it's gonna clear the door. <laughs> Look. It's taller than the door, Steve. It's not gonna fit. Jet, you need to move. Okay. Also, I was thinking we could roll it over and drop it back onto the pads, but once they're up on the carpet, then we won't have to actually like pick that up, okay. up and on with the little thingies. Okay.
Considering how, what are you doing in here? I just want to hang out. So anyway, yeah, we're about to start day two. Uh, it's down to a 24 grid at this point, hoping to get some of these low spots with the paint out. So, uh, man, the light's terrible. Okay, that's better. That looked really weird in a hat. I'm not used to wearing a hat, but I did it for the dust because the, uh, the dust that this thing throws up is pretty bad. But anyway, uh, yeah, we're using a 24 grit paper on this thing at this point. Um, hoping to get through the the low spots and then hopefully today we will have a fully finished floor that is just nothing but wood. So Yes. 
done. So the next step is to do the second sanding coat. So we're going from a 20, so Steve started with a 36 grit. I don't know if he's told you. 36 grit, we moved, we moved down to a 24 grit because we needed that sort of heavy ripping up power. And now the next step is he's going to be putting 80 grit pads on the bottom. But we switched to a 24 because this sort of thing happens where all of your sawdust kind of builds up. And it was actually paint and garbage that was getting in there. So our next step is to redo the entire floor at 80 grit to bring it back up to a smoother finish. And then we do the edges again. And then we do 100 grit and that should be our finished coat. Since we're using a dark stain, this should blend. This will really blend a lot well. better than it would if it was the white. Mm -hmm. Yes, I concur. The nice part is, is that epoxy is pretty self-leveling. You don't really have to fret too much about if it's level. Well, we can always is... sand it down if we need to. Right. I mean, it hard. You'll take the gloss off if you sand it. You don't have to bring it all the way back up. You remember those sandpapers that are like super. Next time on Alley Knight and Steve.